So sometimes your Google ads are a Google ads issue. Oh, they're not performing. You've got a Google ads issue. You've got a problem with the setup or you've got a problem with the, uh, the keywords that you're targeting. Sometimes you've got a business problem. So in this case, we had both. Just being honest, sometimes it works this way. The business problem, landscaping company, but they're not your standard landscaping company that wants to do landscape design. They come in and do full landscaping jobs, hardscaping, things like that. No, they're a company that only wants to do mulching, some bed, uh, flower bed weeding, some things of that nature, things of smaller jobs that you can take on. So it's more of almost handyman landscaping type of situation. So that's a whole different animal. So you've got a Google ads challenge that we were experiencing with this particular client. Then you've got the business challenge. You've got to target something that's really a little bit different than your standard, I need a landscaper. Because most of the landscaping companies you work with are you know, maybe larger entities or they want to do the design. They want to come in and they want to implement the design. They want to do the hardscaping. They want to put up walls, all those sorts of things. So in this case, we had a landscaping company that was not in that particular space. They just wanted this sort of smaller jobs in and out real quick. So we launched with our standard campaign, saw that things were not working out. And the one thing that you always want to do is always pay attention to your campaigns. You can never set it or forget it. And this is why. So what we did is we came back looked at the keywords, looked at the client's needs, and implemented an experiment. So you see in this experiment, we're still not exactly where we want to be. I'd like to be down around $30 to $50. But you can see we ran the standard single theme ad group, which is what we run now. And we were running those mostly with exact match keywords. But the problem is that, you know, first of all, we had to pause some of them to kind of eliminate some unnecessary spend. Second of all, it was really hard to target those exact small jobs because people were generally just, you know, typing in landscaping company near me, then find out, finding out, hey, this isn't really what we do. So we went with a different strategy. And one of the beautiful things about Google Ads is that you can always A-B test, you can always experiment. So in this case, we launched a second campaign, an experiment, 50% of traffic, and we went after praise. The reason we went after praise is because now we can start to pull in in some other search terms that we weren't in the first time that might be more relevant. You can see already, while we've outperformed the original campaign, we're not getting leads at the cost we want, but just only over the last four or five days we've done this. Now we've got three leads, we're up to an 11% conversion rate. That's closer to what we want. We try to hit between 10 and 30. And in this market, we try to hit closer to 25 to 30. We'll get there. But I just want to tell you that sometimes the problems with your Google Ads campaigns are more complex than just my campaign isn't set up right or my business isn't made for this and oftentimes it's not what you do it's how you do it and whether you have a strategic enough approach to your thinking to understand both the business side and the marketing side and the Google AdWords side to find a solution. And that's what we focused on here. That's what we're finding. And we look forward to bumping this up to, you know, the 25, 30% conversion rate and getting that uh, cost per lead down to 30 to $50 where it's uber profitable. And once again, once you zone in on that, you take the time, you invest the time, to buy the data, to learn how this works for your business, you have an endless run of leads coming in. And then your business can be transformed because the phone is ringing. And that's the reason that people run Google Ads in the first place.